Well, a lot of times carjackings occur and you may want to know how to respond from that uh, to a carjacking um, seated inside of your car. So a couple things I want to show you. First of all, in order to draw in a seated position, first of all, you got to have your gun on you. So do you have your gun? First of all, okay. Hello. Oh, in this case, you do have your gun. So how do we do that? Well, most of the times we have our seatbelt on. And uh, as you can see, I'm pretty far back from my steering wheel. A lot of ladies, my wife included, like to get right up on the steering wheel. So they, they scoot their seat so far up that like when I get in my car, after my wife's driven this thing, my knees hit the, <laughs> hit the dash and I'm like this, I can't do that. But nonetheless, this technique will work no matter where the steering wheel is relative to your seat. So first thing you need to do is sit up. As you raise up, you take both hands, pull your shirt up. And for this scenario, I'm using a blue gun. Get a good firm firing grip, pull straight up, just like you would do in your standing. Rotate the gun forward, bring it up over the steering wheel. Now your hands are gonna meet, angle your shoulders back, get a good sight picture, and then take your shot. And then reholstering, come back over the steering wheel, find the holster with your non-dominant hand and place your holster back in. One thing you have to worry about too is your shirt getting caught in the trigger well, so trigger guard, so make sure that you pull the shirt away. All right, so let's do this in real time. So, hey, give me your car, give me your car, give me your car, he's got a gun. Up, two hands over the steering wheel and fire. Okay, over the steering wheel, two hands meet and fire. The reason that you wanna throw that shoulder back is so that you can get your head over and, and get a good sight picture. Again, no matter how close they are, we wanna make sure that we get some type of sight picture before we just start blasting people, okay? So it's over here and fire. Now, here's something that doesn't get told to you. Your front windshield has filament on both sides so that if you were to get a rock into your windshield, it doesn't splatter everywhere, okay? It may spider web, but it's not gonna just shatter, come back into your face. So car manufacturers make sure that they put a filament on both sides. Now, why is that important? Should you have to shoot out the front windshield, then your, your glass is not going to shatter, it's going to spider web dramatically, and it's gonna give it a frosted look. Now, I'm telling you, I have shot out of a front windshield of a car before, and once you fire that first shot, you really can't see anything unless you're looking through the hole that your bullet just went through. And that hole, you may think is gonna be some dramatic pie-shaped hole, it's not, it's, it's about yay big. So you don't really have an advantage to follow up shots because you can't really see that well. Now, I don't expect you to have to shoot out the front of your windshield, okay? But should you have to, um, then understand you're really not gonna be able to see. Now, these side windows, they don't have any filament. So as soon as you shoot, this whole thing is gonna shatter. You're gonna get glass in your face. You're gonna get shards in your eye, potentially. Some glass is gonna go out, but most of it, because of the cant in that your, winch, your uh, window has, it's gonna come down and in your lap, which means it's gonna be all over your arms. So you need to be aware that this glass is gonna shatter. Front windshield glass is just gonna spider web, and you're not gonna be able to see out of it. One more thing. Should you have to fire a round off in your car, everyone in the car will be deaf immediately. So if I've got kids in the back and should I have to shoot, one of the things I'm going to yell out is cover your ears. Okay. That gives them just a, you know, a moderate amount of protection, but trying to do everything that I can. So it would be what, what, what? Oh my goodness. See how I didn't use two hands. See how it doesn't work. All right, here we go. What, what? Cover your ears, cover your ears. Bang, bang, bang. 
Hey, take care of your kids. Take care of your wife. Take care of whoever's riding the car with you. Give them some, you know, warning that you're about to make them deaf forever. Okay, uh, it's a figure of speech, guys. It's not forever, but you know, it'll feel like forever till you can hear again. Um, I, I have been in, involved in several, uh, you know, training events where I didn't have my hearing protection in, and we were shooting out windshields, and that was a bad day for me. So I'm, I want you to learn from from my experience. You need to have good hearing protection if you're training, but in a real life scenario, you're not. So your communication factor uh, relative to the people in your car is gonna go down dramatically. And not only are they not gonna be able to hear, they're gonna be screaming and crying, and it's gonna get really loud really, really quick. But should you have to, understand this is gonna break into you, the front windshield's gonna spider, give it a frosted effect, you're not gonna be able to see.